and time to put it all together. So I have a mix up of different uh, techniques. I also pre-treated the paper with some watercolor pigments. And since that's all done, put them away. Put a little bit of blue for the sky and a little bit of yellow in between and then a very uh, nice light green at the bottom. Um, so we'll start out with our friend there, the White House. Give it a nice even coat. And I have a second tree I'm gonna paint as well, which is green. And then we're gonna use the brier with the, the black tree. Uh, the green tree is a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna put it off in the distance a little bit or make it look like it's in the distance. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to put a little bit higher than I did last time. That way, room for the trees at the bottom. I'm trying not to touch the paper, transferring from my hands to the paper where I don't want it. For making fun, but it's also messy. There we go, got the White House. Let's do the green trees first. I feel like I got a little too much ink on it, so let's take some off. This will be in the background, so put a little higher. for our bigger black tree. Now there are additional techniques you could use too, such as monoprint techniques where you would take something like this, where you ink it to be the same size as your drawing or painting. Um, I'm going to put something behind mine before I do that. Um, actually, we'll do it on a different paper. You could do it before, do it after. I need a little thing that looks like hopefully the sun. I want some use some string. I want to go off like that. Got some interesting funky little shapes here. Let's move that over. Let's move that under. That was good. And then what you would do is that you would take your ink sheet. Place it over and rub it wherever you want. You're trying to get the lines the way you want them. How much you rub, how hard you rub is up to you. And then you release. And that last little bit, I didn't make my tin foil long enough, so we'll do it again. Ring is on there, so it's going to add to the design. Looking interesting. Take off that little ass a little bit. And you can let it dry and then add new elements over it. Right now it's too wet or I would stamp. 
but once it dries, you can add additional layers.